Oh, now it's recording. I see the red spot. Okay, now. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, December the 30th. Can you believe the whole day? The whole year is just about kaput. Okay, so anyway, good morning, my friends. My name is Scrap and Lizzie. For those who have never met me before, I'm a nut. You might as well. Might as well explain that right from the very beginning. Okay. What I'm here to show you, would you go ahead and hit um, like before you even watch this? If you hit like before you even watch it, then I'll get a like on it anyway. I just at least need to have one like. Okay, thank you. Don't wait till you're done watching it because then you'll probably give me one of them thumbs down things. <laughs> okay, what I want to show you today is this album that I have made for my dear friend. I have a dear friend that I met online, and she's my dear friend, and she's just a real sweetheart, and her favorite color is pink, so I kind of am using this paper because it's got a lot of pink and it's got a lot of happiness. It says happy right there. I want her to be happy. Okay, so this is a six and a half by six and a half album. I made the covers with a chipboard chipboard spine and um it's actually a six and a half by six and a half the covers but the actual pages are six by six so that's why i called it a six by six okay first i want to show you the closure the closure if you can see that is just a simple little closure it's and it's only held on with these two clips these two kind of little binder clips that are, um, they come from the Tim Holtz folks. And I put some charms on there. There's a little camera, and then there's a heart. And then there's a key, and then there's a couple of little pins. And, there, and, and along with the pink beads. And so, which is the two clips on the end, on the ends that will clip to the front and the back of the album. But I like that you can take the closure off when you're actually flipping through the album because when you take it off, then it's not in your way. Now, and on the spine, I also added a, um, a little jingle jangle. I like to have um, a little charms of, of sorts on the back because I've seen other people do them with them. And since I'm not a leader, I'm a follower, I do what they do. And so, but I put the pink beads and stuff. I put pink beads and there's a key and there's a, there's a little token that says thoughts on it. But it's got a T because that's the initial of my friend's name. And there's a little heart with a real diamond. Well, it's probably not a real diamond since the whole collection cost me $1.99. But, um... And then I have keys at the bottom. This also is just clipped on with the binder clip. You know, Tim Holtz has those, and I'm sure other people have them too. But And so it's just clipped on. So you can clip it off. You can take it off while you're actually using the album. So that, that won't be in the way. Now, this paper collection that I'm using is from Bo Bunny. And um, it's the Sweet Moments Collection by Bo Bunny. And that's the only size I used was the 6x6. Six six. Now, and when I put... Okay, no, never, never, never mind. Let me go. <coughs> Excuse me there. Smoking another one of them cigars. I don't smoke. I'm kidding. Um, these flowers... Actually, in the kit, in the kit, in the collection came only three flowers. There was one little pink one, one little bur two pink ones, and one brown. And I said, well, that was just not enough. I need more fluff. So I got into my collection of my hoard action. I got hoard actions because I hoard things. My collection of flowers, and I found more that would go along with the colors here. So I could make them a little bit more fluffy. The, um... 
the two these two brad set holds them together they came with the collection and i love them they've got like a little vintage look and then i had some of this organza ribbon with the swiss dots on it and i just love that ribbon i put that on there now this here candy jar was in the collection it was a piece of paper actually it was on paper but i cut that out and put it on on chipboard and then i put pop dots to pop it up you know pop things I like things that pop okay so then I turn the page here and like I say I only used the six by six pad and the um embellishments that comes with that you can buy you can buy like a package of inferma they call it and and from in inferma I think that's how you say that I don't know I never knew that word until I started scrapbooking so Inferma, which has tags and extra papers and extra things. And so I put these in 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 this pocket that I put right here on the inside of the cover. And I also um so this was one six the pink was one six by six piece. Then this brown was a little bit another piece but it had a double-sided, which this here strip you see is the other side. So what I, when I have, when I come across a piece of paper like that, and I like both sides, I just hate to glue one side down where you never see it. So I flipped this over to make like a just a little. I just folded it over a half an inch or so, so you could see that other side to be at the top of that pocket. Now. My album here, this is really out of my comfort zone because I don't really make a lot of coordinating things, but I wanted to make this album for my friend. And so this is really a struggle for me because I don't, you know, I don't follow instructions. I don't do things that match. I just, because I'm more of a junk journal junkie I um, love making journals out of odd things but anyway this here I used a paper line and tried to stay within the boundaries of it and so like I say it was a little bit of a challenge I used um, uh, Tim Holtz has got these um, small talk they're they're um, little just little quotes and little sayings and um there's like a jillion of them in a pack and you can get either white with they're either white with black writing or black with white writing and i love them they they're just fun for pages so i use quite a few of them in here here it says and so the adventure begins but um and so and then i um used one of the larger pieces of paper in the inferma pack because those were six by eight, I think. Yeah, six by eight or six by nine. And um, six by eight and a half. And so I did that. I folded that there and then put it on to another six by six. And then that made, I left that pocket so that this here would go in there and um, choose to see the good stuff. Now I want to tell you, I have a lot of pockets in my album. And the reason why I do that is because I have a lot of friends and acquaintances that, um, I don't have a lot of friends, but I have a lot of acquaintances. And, and a lot of them have nothing, they don't know what to do with a with a with a photo album if i give them one they don't even have a clue as what to do with it because they wouldn't know how to take a picture and cut it to fit on this tag or cut it to fit in here or you know they they don't have a clue and because they don't even ever want to cut their their photos and so and i can I can identify with that because there was a time before I really got into scrapbooking myself that I did not want to cut my photos. I just, I didn't want to cut anything off. I figured the photo is a photo and that you just, that's the whole thing. And I didn't, I didn't want to cut it. I just didn't want to cut it. Even the photos that was, you know, back in my day, you sent them off to get developed and you get them back and they're all 
people's heads was cut off and stuff like that. I couldn't even throw them away. Just lately, I've thrown some old photos away, but I haven't thrown too many away because I know now I've learned something else you can do with them. But anyway, because I'm a hoarder and I like to do stuff. And so, but I said that to say this, that with having the pockets with pockets you can take a photo and just slip it in there you don't have to cut it you don't have to glue it on you don't have to do anything just slip that photo in the pocket and then you can journal on maybe one of the journaling cards or just journal on the back and do doodling on these cards or just leave the cards there to look pretty now then here I have a, um, a flip out a slide out that um, you can put on a photo on either side of that slide out. And again, I have a pocket here on this page and I have tags. And these all come with this Inferma pack that comes with this paper line. And that's always so nice. I love these little hangers. The, it's a paper clip, but it's a hanger. And here it says, never give up. Now. This is, um, I actually used um, Kathy Orta's hidden hinge system on here, and I made four pages. Well, actually, I ended up with more than four pages, because on the center gusset part, I added another page in between. So, so that's, that, that, that gave me more pages, and I felt like I had didn't waste space so and here again now this piece I made I got another little coat hanger there clip that and just a flip down there a photo or journaling can go on here and um, and that just held on there with that little cute little coat hanger paper clip okay and now when I do my when I do my pages with only a six by six, I um, what I do is I take the two six by six pieces of paper. Paper. There we go. I take the two by two six by six pieces of paper, and then I have the one. This is two inch, one inch by six inches, and I um just scored that in half and then you can then I just put it um, that's what I used on the inside then as like a to hold them together you know I glue this side glue this side and then take take a piece of the paper and put it on here and then on this side, I can take another piece of paper and put it on this side and see. And then that's what holds those two six by six together. And so you can make that whole pocket a six by six pocket out of the six by six paper by doing it that way. Okay. And so, yeah. Now, then this is the extra pocket. This is the extra page I put in the gusset. And in there, I made a pocket. And I, um, I, um, and to put them on there, all I did was I, I scored it at a quarter of an inch. That was six by six paper. I cut it out a quarter of an inch. I scored that and just glued that quarter of an inch down. And so the actual paper is, the actual page is five and three quarters instead of six. And so, and on this one, I added... On this one, I added um, another fluff flower. I just love just fluff and bling and stuff. And I glued a little piece of ribbon down here. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. It says in here, it says today is a new day. And so, and then flip the page over. And here I have made this pocket. I, I make my pockets. This, you know, I never throw... An envelope away. If I get an envelope, I I've made all my envelopes. I've I've got like gangs of them. These are all envelopes. These are all pockets I've made out of 
out of envelopes that I've got in the mail. Just, just envelopes and scrap pieces of paper. They're all just pockets. But I take my envelopes like this, and I just, whatever envelope it is, I just take the envelope and I um, fold it up. You don't even have to measure it. Just fold it. And um, then I get a piece of paper. Now, see, this piece of paper would work perfect on here. And I cut it to the width of the um, envelope. And then I cut it. I first cut this piece off. I'll cut that, you know, then to the height of that pocket. And I'll glue that on there. And then I take this other piece and I'll put that on on the top. Now that doesn't always have to go all the way down because it'll go, it'll cover up. So you just want it to go down a little ways and you put that there. And so you can either use the same or you can use coordinating colors. But every one of my envelopes turns into a pocket because then, because I do do junk journals and um, so many junk journals and I use them pockets all the time. But here, see, I made that pocket and it did have the same paper on the pocket part and on the back part and so I made just a little bit of a a decorative edge to go on there on in the center part of that so I think that's cute as ever and then I put a piece of paper up here just a flip up that can be journaled on and um, this flips over too and then I just move that card over there to hold that shut and now here again is another pull out and then I put some trim on the edge, on the edge up there. Make a wish, that says. This one says, believe in yourself. And here we have some tags in here. Um, sweet life. Okay, another pull out, and another, another tag here that you can add whatever you want to that. You can add whatever you want to that or nothing. And now you, you never lose your sense of wonder. You can never have too much happy. These are the awesome little uh, phrases that you can find on them in that Tim Holtz book. And then, of course, here I have a, another pocket. And I have some little journaling cards there. Or, you know, well, some of them are kind of hard to journal because they're busy. You can journal here on this side, no problem. This one here, you could add a photo if you want to leave, you know, cut it a little smaller than than what this is so that you still can get that frame around. So pretty. And, um, and, and then here we go, another page. And this is another one of my envelopes that an uh, envelope pockets that I use the envelope for and um, and then I put another little flip up there and in here the pages I guess are basically the same just different papers and then but a pocket again here and this was some of the inferma in the inferma package out of the out of the collection and um, pockets little trim up here and like I put ribbon on some, but not, but not all of them, so that it would have some fluff, because I like fluff. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Fall in love with as many things as possible. Go where your heart takes you. There's just some more. Great things take time. In here, more pullouts, more tags. No, I guess pull it some tags is the same thing. And I um, glued some ribbon on there. I used that double-sided tape to put that on that side of that pocket. And um, some more tags. This was an extra piece of paper. And um, I just folded it in half, rounded the corners. And it just makes a little booklet that you can put some journaling on. You can never have too much happy. I like that, too. Great things take time. And then here again, just this one, this pocket, I used a punch, a Martha Stewart punch on the top of that pocket. Now this, this album, particular 
this particular album would be a good one to keep memories of like a birthday or a wedding anniversary or something and because it's it you know there's so much cake <laughs> you know it, it's you know cake is my happy place there's a lot of cake in this here cakes and candies cakes and candies it's just a lot of that kind of stuff and so this would be like a nice um any celebration that you have any kind of a celebration just you know this would be good for now this one here i this this here that didn't come with the collection this actually came in some of my junk mail it it's where from the sierra club they are um sent they send out these mailings where because they want some donations because they say that the honeybees are um becoming fewer so which it's going to make the cost of honey go up and I, do, I don't know what else so they want they want donations and i'm not sure what the donations are going to do but um they want donations but they send this package of seeds in the mail with that with that mailing and so um everything that i plant goes to it ain't gonna help the it uh, yeah it ain't gonna help the bees because everything i plant dies i do not have a green thumb i barely have thumbs they're arthritic okay so anyway no green thumb so this one here says it's always the small pieces that make the big picture this one says believe in yourself and again, that's another pullout. And of course, another pocket. And because I just do believe that some people just want to put pictures, just put the picture right in the pocket. Don't worry about gluing it on. But here you could put a four by six picture on here if you so chose. But you can also just slide it right in the pocket. And then in here, right here and right now, there's another little tag. And in here, another fluff flower. Today is full of possibilities. In here, we have we have the the um, tags and 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 firma that comes in the package with this paper liner, all so pretty. And then, okay, then we've come to the back back cover, which I just put a little bit of flip there to make a page. Focus on what's important. I always believe something wonderful is about to happen. And so in here again, I have a pocket. In this one, I matted that one, so it's got a little bit of a frame around. And then we have we have these large tags and then the small tags. They all come like that in the um, see again po um, um, cakes, but they they're just so pretty. But they all have that candy and cake and candy theme so everything will be I mean it, it just will go perfect I think anyway for a celebration where you would have cake so what started out was going to be only four pages it ended up that I have like one two three four five six seven eight nine pages so there's a lot of pages there's a lot of different lengths you know different you know different sizes actually because of the way I put them together but um, like I say I was out of my comfort zone in the, in this and and so it took it took um, it took me a while to do this and because I'm more of a junk journalist, I do, which, you know, where you use uh, a lot of your junk mail or you do like this one. Let me just show you this. I'm working on this. This is this is a junk, junk, junk journal, which I have a piece of craft text as the cover. And then I use just a lot of. 
stuff, just different stuff, things that I have in my my collection of junk, I don't know. It's just got a, a lot of different things in it. And that's this is where this is where I'm comfortable. This is where I'm comfortable where the pages are different the inferma doesn't match um, there's a music this come off of an oatmeal cream pie box I mean but we're not going to you know junk mail junk mail old catalog can old calendar pages um, I yeah this is something that and the signatures are sewn together I sew these together with them. Um, with um, embroidery floss, but uh, this is a whole different page out of a recipe book. But see how they're just all stitched onto the binding. This is where this is my comfort zone, and r the reason being is because it doesn't have any rules, no directions. I have a real problem with following directions. I I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I get ideas from them, but I never have followed one completely through or uh, read tutorials, and I never follow them completely through. I always use parts of them, and uh, and um, there you go. See. I use parts of them and I come up with my own thing. But this is going to be for my friend. I do believe that my friend is going to like this. I do believe she will. So I'm going to be be um, anxious to get it packaged up and mailed to her. i got a couple of other things that I have made her as well. And they're all going to go in the package. And she's not expecting it, so she'll be surprised I'm sure I know I would be surprised and they say to always give give something that you would enjoy receiving yourself and and I would enjoy receiving something like this so um so yeah I think she's going to enjoy that so that's that's my my video for the moment and um I tried to be a little bit more um, not so silly because I got this silly kind of, of problem. I get overly silly. Yeah, that's what I do. So anyhow, but that's how I live. All right, I just love live the silly life. And I have a dog sitting here crying now for some reason at my feet. So I'm going to have to... Um, Go tend to my little dog. Come here, Sammy. Sammy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Sammy. Come here. Come here. Now she won't come. She wants to sit there and cry. I was going to introduce you to Sammy, but now she's being a pain in the butt. All right. All right. Not a pain in the butt. She's never a pain in the butt. She's just 15, 16. She's 16 years old in a couple days. And, um... In a couple of days, she's going to be 16 years old, and um, in in dog years, that's pretty old, and um, she's got the right to be grumpy. Okay, just want to say thank you for watching my video, and please, oh, that's right, I already told you to hit like down there, or was it? Actually, this is the third time I videoed this album, and the first two times really didn't work, and I hope that this time it will work so I don't have to just delete it again. But um, so I don't know if I'm repeating myself or some stuff like that. But um, but I do repeat myself a lot, and I forget things because I'm old, and um, I love being old because it gives me a reason, a reason, a good excuse, good reason for being dorky. All right, holy smokes, it's almost nine o'clock in the morning. All right, I just want to say I love you, and I pray every day that you have, uh, you are comfortable, that you are happy, that you are healthy, and that may God watch every step that you take throughout the day. And that's it. I love you, and goodbye, and come back again soon for coffee or tea or something.